Marcus de Condorcet was a French philosopher and mathematician who said the truth belongs to those who seek it and not to those who claim to own it. That's why the oldest culture, Sanskrit, comes in between. Marcus de Condorcet was born in 17 September 1743. In France, died in 1794. In France, the truth belongs. Yes, anything to belong, like in our state of Karnataka, it's a state in India, where recently there was a massive big floods, and people were suffering, and also blocked. And then the authorities started bringing the bulldozers and started demolishing houses, telling because of these houses, there's a water um, floods has happened and water was blocking and entering into people's houses. They must have constructed the houses on the top of the lakes or into the side lanes where the water is supposed to run and it was very painful to see small houses or big houses what will be the reason you are pulling it out to build a house in India where the major part of the people don't have their own houses they are homeless like you can see Americans in American New York City or in Tokyo you can see homeless people on the streets. There's a small minority. But in India, the whole country is homeless. Very few. Maybe 2% of the total population, 2% of the rich countries, 98% of the wealth of the country. And the middle class who just works very hard to make a house takes a lot of time. They started demolishing the houses. And then the god of Karnataka, the walking, Nadittara Devru, the only one walking god of Karnataka in the political mainstream, is the present chief minister, Basuraj Bome. He came in between and said, no, 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 don't demolish houses because it is painful because they must have taken loan to construct houses. If you want to create a stormwater drain, you can just go around the house, not demolishing the house and go right in. So, yes, go around. The same philosophy was throughout the life, throughout the centuries was spoken. They draw a circle. To all the children, it has been taught. A circle is drawn. And then they ask the child and everybody. Without touching the circle, how do you make the circle bigger? It is taught to everybody, draw a bigger circle. Don't go and break those houses. So, our Chief Minister Basuraj Bome said, yes, we can go around the building also. There's nothing wrong in that. It's superb. That kind of understanding is the real truth. Not to those who claim to own it. Yes, claim to own it is, doesn't understand the other part of the story. Throughout the, our philosophy of our Hindu tradition, or any religious matter, you can say, please put your feet in other person's shoes. Yes, then you know their struggle before you even answer. Uh, recently, we have been discussing about uh, bedwetting children, and the doctors teach the children. Bedwetting means the moment they want to pass urine, stop it. Little you leave it, hold it. Leave it, hold it. Don't pass the urine. Like that, you get bladder control. Like that, opening the mouth unnecessarily and giving advice. You need control, yes. Demolishing houses is like loose motion. That our chief minister understood. The truth belongs to those who seek it, yes. Seek means 
putting the feet in another person's shoes. Not to those who claim to own it. And you own it without working hard. That's why in our tradition in India, that the son always goes with the father. Whatever trade it is. Whatever trade is, beautiful trade. It doesn't have a Brahmana Shatri, Vaishya Shutra. It doesn't have the rich and the poor. Any trade is beautiful trade, as long as you can penetrate. it. That's what Zen was trying to tell to everybody. Any trade is okay. It's, it's still a beautiful trade. The son is always sent from the baby, from the baby, to the father's, whatever father's trade is, in the, into the field or whatever it is. By the time the son is very big enough, he knows the trade so beautifully. And same the baby, the girl is sent to the mother, whether it is connected with the house, whatever it is. She knows it very well. It's much, much powerful than any schools and universities. Hence, you can see, they always trust and believe the company which runs, which were running from for the last 800 years. Yes. In Japanese, there are even temples, monasteries, or a group of people. They come from the same lineage of family. They control that temple for 800 years. They don't leave it up. Yes. That deep, if there is a philosophy, there is no pain. Hardly there will be any diseases. And if you have any boils in the mouth or any kind of cold or cough, immediately the Japanese will tell your stomach is bad. <laughs> that means you're not drinking enough water. Yes, the stomach is bad. You get boils, cold, cough, fever, anything. They know, yes. Because it has been taught from the childhood. Every child knows every kind of medicine. What goes is what. Not that you say cold and you rush up to the hospitals. Marquis de Condor said, said the truth belongs to those who seek it. Yes. Not to those who claim to own it. Yes, if, you, if somebody gives you and if you take it, then it is not yours because you have not worked very hard. Hence, I have always found that uh, the people who are really having a family, if I call them come for coffee, they won't come. If I give them a gift, they won't take. Yes, they say, no, no, we do not want. They will take only if they can return it back. Yes. The, in the Shastras, they say a person who takes anything, everything from a person and never returns anything back is called a robber. So you keep on asking and keep on taking from the government. Yes. What have you done in front of your house? There are some social activists who has not even fed even five, five children or helped anybody. They keep on disturbing, throw the school up, ask the school to shut down. They are op operating in our area, they are operating in that area. Nonsense talks because culture is not there. Culture is totally broken and uh, they, they call others dacoits, cheaters, cheats. And these people are provoking others without doing any work to become cheats. Yes, activists should be good, but they, they must first practice. They must first learn how to work hard and feed a thousand people. Too many talks in the society. Marcus de Condor said, said, the truth belongs to those who seek it. That's why in the family, yes. Not to those who claim to own it. You are not supposed to ask the, a part of your family property. I kept on telling you. Instead, before you ask a part of the property, you should draw a bigger circle. You should show a bigger property before you can ask it. You should prove. You cannot tell my Old people were bad, they didn't have any brains, they didn't go to university, you went to university. So you should have much bigger land and property than them. You squandered all that in the Kentucky Fried Chicken, in the McDonald's, into here and there, into buying so many dresses, showing off your motorbike, all on loan, cars on loan, your, even your underwear is on loan, all EMI, EMI, EMI. Where did you save? Save and then spend. Save even your words also. Like how you control your urine. So bedwetting will be stopped. Otherwise, this activist mouth is full of bedwetting everywhere. The already the people are suffering. In between, they go and uh, provoke the authorities to demolish the houses, throw them out, 
put a police case, shout, scream. They are not trying to find out a method how to uh, put a little extra to help the people to bring down the pain in the society. Marcus is a condescending said, the truth belongs to those who seek it. Seek it. Those who seek, so shall you find it. Not to those who claim to own it. Don't own it without you working hard. <laughs>